How many times has this happened to you? You sit down to enjoy a delicious bowl of soup, but how do you eat it? A fork is good for the chunks, but what about that delicious broth? Ever try a butter knife? No good there. Straws get the juice, but none of the chunks. Oh no, not the hand. Oh, now that's just nasty. Well, now there's spoon. That's right, spoon. Spoon is the amazing new utensil that lets you enjoy all of your favorite canned goods. Chickpeas, yams, corned beef hash, and thousands more and have the time with none of the mess. Plus, the spoon goes from hot to cold in seconds. Call right now and we'll send you the Super Pack. Set of four spoons. Soup spoon, ice cream spoon, cereal spoon, and table spoon. Operators are standing by. Don't delay. This offer is limited while supplies last. Sorry, no you. Brad and Jeff. Just a couple of boobs making movies, feeling sad. Then along came the deuce with a couple of ships, and man, that motherfucker was bad. Now we're laughing it up, cause everyone's dead. Society can suck our dicks. Just sit right back, and we'll make you laugh with our movie editing tricks. Brad and Jeff, a couple of boobs, making movies and feeling sad. Then along came the deuce, with a couple of chips, and man, that motherfucker was bad. Now we're laughing it up, cause everyone's dead, society can suck our dicks. Just sit right back, we'll make you laugh, with our movie editing tricks. Apocalyptic Television presents Brad and Jeff. Hey, welcome to the show. This is your host, Brad and Jeff, and this is Post Apocalyptic Television. Okay, in case you hadn't noticed, the world's been totally destroyed. So I'm trying to tell you, kid, it ain't there. It's been totally blown away. Thanks, Han. He's dead. I know. Anyway, since nobody seems to know what happened, and we have all this video editing equipment, we thought it would be fun to make up our own reenactment. So, without further ado, here's our version of The Apocalypse. Earth, a peaceful blue planet, whose inhabitants led a normal, happy existence. But evil lurked in the cosmos and barreling toward them was a hideously vile alien warship. Unfortunately, the threat from above was detected too late, and though the Earthmen's defenses were immediately scrambled, doubt and fear caused panic among the people, and chaos ensued. The Earthmen mounted a preemptive strike against the aliens, using the latest weapons of defense. Warplanes, missiles, nuclear warheads, but to no avail. For the vile invaders were much too advanced, and won a defensive victory against the peaceful Earthmen. Death and destruction were all that remained of the once glorious and majestic planet.
Hey, what the hell's wrong with this thing? You fucking around over there? I am the Deuce Lady of the planet Lady Prime. My warships lay waste to your measly blue shithole. Well, that was a pretty shitty thing to do, Deuce. Deuce, you will refer to me as Lord Leety. Now bow before my awesome image. It's not that awesome, Deuce. Is that a cut out of a two liter in your head? You exhausting fools! It's my Leety Prime brainwave scanner. It allows me to break into your transmission and tell you now that I intend to hunt down the remaining members of your human race and kill you one by one. That's pretty harsh, Deuce. Why do you hate us anyway? The scientists on Lady Prime have been monitoring your television transmissions for 50 of your Earth years. When we saw the most powerful member of your human race, Superman, reduced to a wheelchair-bound goon by a mere horse, we decided that you were all too weak to live. And besides, we couldn't stand that bitch Oprah for another minute. Deuce, Superman isn't real. Christopher Reeve is just an actor. Well, what about Oprah? <sighs> well, she actually is an annoying, long-winded ape-fucker. But the human race shouldn't have to die because some dusty cunt rag didn't get enough attention as a child. There were several other reasons. Like what? Like UNICEF, the Girl Scouts, Spike Lee, basketball, hockey, the Mormons, Marie Osmond, Bono. Michael J. Fox, Jerry Lewis, believe me, the list goes on. Yeah, I suppose it includes Shaquille O'Neal and Ellen DeGeneres. Actually, we have them captured and plan to breed them. We think their offspring will be quite hubris. Oh, God. Good luck. Why? Because Ellen is gay? <laughs> no, because Shaq isn't. Well, whatever. You have been warned, people of Earth. Prepare to meet your doom. And as for you two, I'll be back. <laughs> you boobs. Oh man, that's totally fucked up. I can't believe we got that right. You heard it here first, folks. The Deuce Lead is his name, and he's coming to get you. We'll be right back. Decontamination process initiated. <laughs> Here's some hard facts. One in ten people will be affected by Wayne Smith. Last year alone, Wayne Smith was blamed in 42,000 work-related accidents. Wayne Smith is the number one killer of young men between the ages of 15 and 21. I used to think Wayne Smith was just a farm. A lot of my friends knew him. They think he was pretty cool. They liked his glasses. <laughs> Next thing I knew, I was as far as three or four times a day. It seemed like fun at first. <laughs> and then my friend Jesse fell into the combine. If your children haven't met Wayne Smith, chances are they know someone who has. Wayne Smith. Silent Killer. Hi, I'm Rick Johnson, President and CEO of Pall Mall Cigarettes. In these difficult times, we must try to persevere. Try to focus on what made us strong as people. And most importantly, stop all this hoo-ha about cigarettes causing cancer. Smoking is fun!
your biggest concern right now is not being killed and eaten by another human being. So smoke up. And forget about cancer. We've got bigger problems now. Brought to you by Ball Ball Cigarettes. <coughs> Just like Bob used to make. Hey, this is Jeff, and you're watching WPAT, Post-Apocalyptic Television, Channel 9. Man, I love to smoke. Mmm, mmm. God, I love smoking. You know, I love to smoke the first thing in the morning. You know, that first two seconds you wake up, you pop your eyes open, and you go reach for your cigarettes, and you put it in your mouth? Mmm. Now oh, that's old country tobacco. I love that. You know what's another great thing? I love to smoke every time I eat. Every single time. Right after I'm done, I just sit there and I light up another cigarette. God, I love to smoke. You should always smoke. What are you doing? I'm talking about smoking. The people at home don't want to hear about that. <clears throat> well, what do they want to hear about then? I mean... Useful information. Like what? Like survival tactics. Oh, man. Not that fucking redneck again. I hate him. Just sit back and watch this. Hey, everybody. It's your old pal, Satchel Pete, here. And I'm here to tell you how to turn a garbage can into a... Toilet! You pull your pants down and you shit the fucking thing. If you didn't know that, then you deserve to die. Hey, how much time do I have? Really? Well, hey... Let me tell you about this stupid fucking show you're watching. Brad and Jeff are dumber than a two-coated hooker in Arkansas. The little one smokes too much and the big one eats too much. You need to turn this bullshit off and start working on your shooting skills. Because when the evil invaders return, the only thing between them and me is my trusty pistola. Hee! I hate him. He's usually so helpful. Anyway, it's the responsibility of every broadcast network to keep their viewers up to date with the latest in world events. And since we're the only network, here's the news. Get ready for the news, because here's Greg Dodd. How much longer? How much? How much? You want me to put this out? I killed someone for this cigarette today. I'm not putting it out. Well, fuck them. It's the end of the world. I don't care. It doesn't matter if fucking people smoke on TV. Not doing it. Is that thing on? Is Shut it off. Fucking shut it off. Hello and good evening. Reporting for post-apocalyptic television, this is Greg Dodd. Our top story tonight, the Earth has been destroyed. This terrible act was apparently carried out by a villainous space alien who calls himself the Deuce Leety. Deuce, or Lord Leety as he's known by his minions, granted an exclusive interview to this network's own Brad and Jeff. Let's take a look at a portion of that interview now. I am the Deuce Lady of the planet Lady Prime. My warships lay waste to your measly blue shithole. You have been warned, people of Earth. Prepare to meet your doom, you boobs. Later in the interview, Boob Leedy vowed to hunt down and destroy all remaining survivors of Earth. I don't give a fuck if I said Boob Donnie. Boob Leedy, big fucking deal. What? He already destroyed the fucking Earth. What's he gonna do next? Fucking write a letter? Fuck him. Fuck him. Fuck him in his big green ass. In other news, canned goods are now the most valuable item on Earth. 
It seems people everywhere are fighting each other to the death for such delicacies as chickpeas, corned beef, and yams. And now for some thought on the subject, let's go to our man in the street. Rapper, poet, Snowball. Yo, this is Snowball! I'll be giving up my bling bling for some canned peas. Word. Check this shiz is out. I want to eat some canned peas and shit like that instead of my bling bling. Peas, yo, peas, yo, give me those peas, yo, little mo peas, yo, peas, yo, peas. A chicken, a chicken, a peas. A chicken, a chicken, a peas. A chicken, a peas. A chicken, a peas. Peas, peas. Peas, yo, peas, yo, give me those peas. Little mo peas, yo, give me those peas. <laughs> Snap peas, little peas, black peas, poo peas, chicken to chicken to peas. That guy needs to seriously chill the fuck out, right? You see that fucking guy? That was fucking stupid. I can't believe they fucking got most of the government and they didn't fucking get that guy. What a dick face. What? Fuck. And in local news, many are asking themselves in the wake of recent events, do I need to arm myself? Here via satellite uplink is local gun expert Sappho Pete to answer some of your questions. Well, well hey! Well, hi! Thanks for having me! Hello, Sath. Satchel! Sathel? Satchel! Sath? Is it Sathel? I... Is it... Sathel? My name's Satchel, dumbass! Alright. In light of recent events, Sathel, should I own a gun? I wish you did. Then you'd use it to shoot yourself. Hmm. I see. As a way to avoid, let's say, starvation... No, just because you're a dumbass. And your show sucks. Brad Jess, too. I'm coming to get you. I know you're in there. I know you're in there. You better watch yourselves, you guys. I'm going to fuck your shit up. I'm going to fuck your world up. And don't you be wondering, because guess what? It's going to be me. It's going to be me that kicks your ass all over God's great country. Fuck. What are you gonna do, man? What are you gonna fucking Steven? Steven! I'm gonna fucking shove this Steven! Steven! Right in there. Steven! Steven, what are you gonna do, Steven? Steven! What are you gonna do, Steven? Steven, you wanna turn that off? Here. You wanna turn that off, Steve? Here Put your mask back on. We'll be right back. <laughs> Hey kids, I'm Jimmy Giraffe, and I like you. Ha 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 ha! You know what makes me so cute and lovable? Cigarettes, ha! Huh? That's right, cigarettes! And my brand is Paul Ball Juniors. They're made especially small for little fingers, and they come in four fun fruit flavors grape, orange, cherry, and menthol. So be cute and smoke you, Paul Ball Juniors! Otherwise, your parents might get sick of you and get divorced. Smoke up, kids! <laughs> Brought to you by Ball Ball Cigarettes. <laughs> <laughs> Just like Bob used to make. This is Lord Leety, and you're watching WPAT, Post Apocalyptic Television, Channel 9. I'm gonna shit in a bowl and make Jeff eat it. I'm gonna trick him to do it, and he's gonna fucking eat my own fucking shit. Oh, oh, oh God! Please, God! Oh, Jesus! Oh, oh. One more, come on. God, if you love me, 
you Oh. <laughs> uh, hey man, what you watching? The uh, Jerry Lewis telethon. Crippled kids are hilarious, man. Oh no, shit, man! I love the one kid that's got the fucking uh, what is it? The no legs. <laughs> I fucking love that shit. <laughs> oh, oh, man. Hey man, what you snacking on? Oh, a little bit of brownie fucking batter. I uh, made it earlier. I was fucking mowing on it. I'm gonna go get a glass of milk, okay? I'm fucking thirsty. And don't fucking touch my goddamn brownie batter. You got it? Don't hurry back. It's in commercial. Okay. Okay. Hold up. Just one sec. Okay, it's coming back from commercial. Oh, quick! The kid with one arm's on. Come on, hurry up, dude! You ate my shit. <laughs> Yeah, fucker, it was good, too. No, really, that, like, was literally my shit. Hey, that kid just fell out of his wheelchair. Oh, my God. Oh, me. Oh, me, say it again. I'm... Go. And now for some thought on the subject. Fuck you, piece of paper. And now for the... Teeth, tongue, and lips. Did you press record yet? No, it's... Yeah, okay, there we go. Does it need to say record? Yeah. What? Amazing! You. Ah, you got it right the first time, dude. Amazing! You two magnanimous boobs even. Ah, fuck it. Man. Steven, shut it off! Why do you always do this shit to me when we're in the middle of a video clip? Shut it off, Steven! You're gonna edit this in later in the middle of the fucking broadcast and make me look like a jackass? You think that shit's funny? You guys all back there, ha? Huh? It's fucking funny, isn't it? <laughs> fuck you guys. This is bullshit. I don't care if you're working for free. You can fuck off. Into your transmission and tell you how... Fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. I didn't do that, man. Good, <laughs> My warships laid measly waste to your shithole. Are you <laughs> seriously doing that, or are you trying to be like somebody else? So you know. I'm making, uh, I'm making some doo doo for the Jeff. It's a doo doo sequence. Mm. What are the ingredients? Chocolate Easter eggs and peanut butter, which is good, which would be good. So if this fucker doesn't want me to enjoy eating anything, because he knows I'm a dumpling ass. So chocolate, chocolate Easter eggs and peanut butter would be good, but he's going to make me throw on some black beans. Meyer black beans. Black beans. So we're going to make a nasty turd, and I'm eating this fucking shit in about five minutes. Oh, we got to still need it, like, for ten minutes. Oh, yeah, I know. Your, your anky pants are going to have to hit the floor, brother. What? Oh, yeah. They'll be in close up so you just see the <laughs> pants hitting the ankles and then the toe hitting the stick. I can't see my wiener will probably fly. What? Out. Well, go, your tape, go tape that shit back, dude. And tape it back? If it flops out, what the fuck? It's not going to be on film. <laughs> I don't want my penis on film. It won't be on film. You don't have enough of a zoom lens. <laughs> I'm the chef. Brad's my sous chef. Brad's my bit chef. Microwave at this point. It's my, my recipe. My recipe for poop. For doo-doo. For duty. 
Dookie, turds, doo doo. Jeff eats some doo doo. Oh, mm. oh, 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 awesome! Oh, oh, my oh god. god, black beans are fucking gross, dude. <laughs> oh my god! Oh Jesus! Shit! Let's see. That worked. Mmm. That looks like big turd. <laughs> That's probably the worst thing I've ever seen in my life. It's a poop. Oh, diarrhea, <laughs> dude. Okay, I gotta taste this to prepare myself so that. Jeff, come on. So that when I eat it on camera for real, I'm not shocked. <laughs> Maybe you should leave that element of shock. <coughs> 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 Is that real?